Hi everybody, it's me, Bon, and this is 832 Tarot. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome if you've never been before. The way that I read Tarot is I read for the heart space, the head space, and the middle way, or how you will be perceived and how you will be perceiving others. I try to keep my readings under half an hour and we'll clarify what needs to be clarified and give you some advice at the end. If you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you really like it, join the Kofi membership. There. A ding for that. Right. Let's just crack on. Okay, so Friday the 19th of July. I heard an astrologer earlier say, if you're single, you should go out. <laughs> because it's a surefire day to meet your soulmate. Or karmic, depending on where you are in your... That's just me being cynical. Uh, you go, you go, get out there. Okay, so the heart space. This is very interesting. An extra card as well. Okay. Bottom of the deck, six of cups. Hmm. Interesting. Right, okay. Gonna pull for the head first. And then I'll and then I'll talk about the cards that come out. Well. Some of you guys are in for a crazy fucking weekend. <laughs> okay, what with the dick is the Ace of Pentacles. Holy shit. <laughs> right, okay. So, in the heart space, the overall energy is the Six of Cups. Now, for some of you, as I said at the start, that could be a soulmate. Uh, for some of you, that could be something... It could be a karmic as well, because it could trigger those old wounds. Or maybe your old wounds are already triggered at this time. Um... You need to take it out, it resonates. In the head space, sorry, the heart space, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords in reverse, the Three of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Four, and the King of Coins. This is a transition, and we see, you can see it here in the, um, in the head space as well. There is a transition happening here. I feel like... What's interesting is I feel like you're shutting somebody down, but then it moves forward. The start of the week here, like this, the week, the way the weekend feels <laughs> jaggy, and then the week after the start of the week after, from the full moon, from the full moon onwards, it feels better. But there is a situation around boundaries and risky behaviour, telling the truth. There's a surrendering, though. There's a surrendering that happens. Let's do some clarification. Okay, first of all, let's start with the... Oh, actually, before I say anything else, though, I just want to say in the headspace, though, the overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles, right? So it's progress. It's moving forward. So we see that this is a thing, but this, again... Um, I want to read for these as a. I want to read for these, clarify these cards all together, and these because there's there's definitely a link going on here. Uh, which what is really good here is that the head and the heart are on the same page, so this is a very authentic thing. Okay, let's see. We'll start with a three of um three of uh, swords. High priestess. 
Let me have one. The world. Okay, well, I think for some of you, you just fucking had enough <laughs> of something. For some of you, you just had enough. You've like that. You've just had enough. There's clarity around whatever your situation is, and I feel like you're just going. Do you know what? Nah. Yep. Yep. You're like nah. This is this is nah. This is not for me. <clears throat> the energies around who you, who you give your love to. <laughs> who, you give, who do you give your love to? Boundaries around that. You're actually pulling back from something. And I think for some of you, if this, yes. For some of you, this is about a lack of commitment. This is about addictions. This is this is just, this is just a nope. This is just a big fuck off nope. <laughs> this this part here. Oh, the magician with Knight of Wands. I think it's. I yeah. I think that. <sighs> wow. Wow. I feel like some of you might already be in a karmic relationship. Or oh, there's some realisation around karmic relationships. There's some realisation around... Um, what you're choosing or what you're accepting seems to be more the thing here because it seems to me like whatever you was accepting you are no longer accepting and maybe if this is um because this is very relationshipy by the way and if um this could be around your relationship with yourself by the way if you're having addiction issues yourself Okay, it could be the it could be you coming to some sort of awareness around your own addiction issues. Yeah, particularly if you're a female, actually. Although you know it's not gender specific, but if there's actually if there is a um, issues for you around uh, having your heart open and and and, and enjoying that loving connective energy um i think there's some realization around that in terms of relationships and boundaries around who you give your love to there's definitely a judgment call here Mm -hmm. yeah it's a judgment call here and perhaps this is where this risk is taken let's see what this five because there's a surrender in here God, that's so interesting <laughs> there's a battle to surrender i don't know if there is surrender to be honest but I mean, it would seem the rest of the week. I just want more on that three of ones, please. And temperance, okay. This is some level of dark night of the soul. Now, this is either somebody you're connected with, or it's someone, or or it's a belief system, or some sort of trauma within you that you are coming to a realization about where your boundaries, um, around how you, um maintain start and end relationships um with always the most important relationship being the one with self bottom of the deck please the four of pentacles yes what brings you stability what brings you joy okay that was freaking interesting um <clears throat> let's do the other part of this so this is leading up to sunday i feel which the full moon in Capricorn is on Sunday. And this is really practical as well, actually. This is very, it's, it's, um, it's very black and white. 
And I know life isn't really very black and white, but I think this realisation comes to you and you can no longer deny whatever it was that you were denying. And you, you, have to, you have to face it head on. You have to look at it head on. Let's do the rest of the week, okay? Because this is, this is like, you know, there's celebrations, there's good times, there's reunion, there's a new beginning, you know, there's a, there's a bossing up here with the King of Pentacles, there's good communication, open heartness, you know, that leads to, you know, just a real transformation in the energy and, and being in touch with your emotions, which is all freaking beautiful, right? So whatever this shit is, okay, it's gone after the weekend. So... And that may, might mean it's transformed for some of you, or it might just mean that you're transformed. I don't know, let's look, let's see. What's that reunion move? Because for me, the Three of Cups, Two of Swords. Mm, I want another one, please. Eight of Pentacles. One more. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that three of cups it is for, for a lot of you this is about this is about that internal relationship, mind, body, spirit. Um and there's some there's some there's some kind of indecisiveness uh, around or there's a little bit of a denial around around some blind spots here that you're working on yourself and I feel like I feel like th there's a reluctance or there's been a reluctance. There is a reluctance. No, I think there might be awareness of actually why would you for that reunion to happen, there has to be this awareness. It has to be letting that letting the guard down for this work to have. Perhaps that's the surrendering that you let the guard down. You let your guard down, admitted to yourself this this part of self that is that is not functioning properly, and you're going to be working on that now. For others of you, it is a reconnection with somebody or some with somebody. Four of ones. Five of cups, seven of cups, and hang on, this is freaking odd, mate. I thought we were going to be over that and then we move on, but no, but no, more fuckery. <laughs> so I think you're going to have a lot of offers of things to do, actually, and you, you know, a lot of good times to be had. But I feel like you're in a bit of a downer, and I feel like you've, you're 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 yeah you're purging yourself and you're and you're connecting with yourself in order to have that new beginning that's up there. So this talks about you bossing up here, I believe, like you getting your shit back together. Yeah, Knight of Cups again. See with the Knight of Cups up there with the boundaries. Like this is like I feel like this is giving this to you. This is and the way that he's looking back as well on these cards. You know, that it's about celebrating self, it's about understanding self, you know, it's about recognizing recognizing, you know, recognizing that that uh, that, that you you still got some healing to do before you're going out and having a good time, you know? Which is which is great, like you know what I mean? You're giving that cup of love to self, you need to do that for self so you can boss up in this king of pentacles. Yes, mate, and then your boundaries will be a lot firmer. Perfect, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, page of pentacles, yep. Yeah. Then you can think about moving on to something new. I don't think now is the time. And there's a healing to do here. There's some sort of healing to do here. All right, where else in this headspace? So we've got communication, temperance again, and the cups. Okay. Give me that one. Not your cups. Hmm. That night cups has come out again. It's only a night though. The Empress. Okay, so it's gonna. Hmm. Okay, so if this is somebody in the, if it's somebody in the collective is in a, a union, right? Okay, and um. I don't see you as a married couple, okay, or a living together people like this is like a this looks like a boyfriend girlfriend sort of situation, girlfriend girlfriend boyfriend boyfriend whatever, um, mix and match whatever it is for you, um, but there's going to be some balanced communication with that person I feel with the lovers here and the temperance again, you know there's going to be some good good conversation, 
But then there's, and I feel like, this person appeals to a part of you that's, that other people don't. And I think that, um, I think there's a, the part of you that this person excites is a part of you that is out of balance. Like it needs more of it. There's an imbalance somewhere there where I think it's making you or helping you to, or it's colluding with you to make, not make the best choices around the situation. It's coming around again. It's like or perhaps there's a you can't just for some of you I think it's like you can't decide. You can't decide if you're in an in any outy relationship, which is taking over this whole bloody reason, by the way, then you can't decide, then I don't know. It's gonna be a bit fraught. Ten of Pentacles transform. I think it's for some of you though, this is really transformative. Whatever happens in this scenario it's going to be transformative in a in a really constructive way in a really beautiful growth way i don't know whether that this is a you know oh you're gonna be you beat getting forever and oh the tower yeah this is a yeah so the towers around emotions though death at the bottom again oh this is really a, this is a transformative this is going to be a transformative full moon for, um, I know this is the weekly read, but it's Friday and then the weekly reads on the, the full moon on Sunday. So, you know, it is it is relevant. It is relevant. Okay, let's do the 3D, right? Let's do the what's going on out there. Oh, the Empress again. Wow, this is a super charged time. Oh, the Magician. The Frickleys. I'm using Cat Black's Golden Tarot. This is the original Ashley Cook, and that was the um, Archives of Nature. And then I'm, I'm also using Radiant Wise Spirit and the Dreaming Way, just in case you wanted to know. Boundaries again. Wow. Just wow. I think this is putting your foot down with some situation here. You know, there's something going on. It's just four, four again, but it's all going to... The lovers again. The Knight of Cups again. What the frickery, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring out the blue stone for some clarification. <clears throat> should probably just put one more right there. Let's just pick one. That'll do. Oh, there's that Ten of Cups there, look. Mm-hmm. That's the five. So, the overall energy out there with the 3D, how you'll be perceived and how you'll be perceiving others is this there's a lot of planning going on. There's a lot of action well there's not so much action actually, there's planning. There is well there is though there's kind of standing grounds, moving away from things, having strong boundaries, wanting to manifest in what are we manifesting in here? Like taking that risk. Risk taking behaviour. Even taking that risk. Hmm. Okay. Right, where's the Empress there? <sighs> okay, well, look. Mm-hmm. I feel it's you trying to manifest something in. Oof, dude. What the fuck? You see this? Look, the Empress. Clarified with the Magician. The Magician. Clarified with the Empress. Holy moly. Fucking like, you know. hell. So, the very clear, strong feminine manifestation here. So, if you're a fella, <laughs> there may be a bird trying to manifest you, a woman trying to manifest you, but if you're, a, and a woman could be, and a man could be trying to manifest you as well. I feel like there's some bigger connection here. There's some connection here.
Maybe it's your connection with the divine. I'm going to just say, because I've just noticed on this card, there's a lot of what looks like sperms going towards the egg there. And I would just, if you're not looking for a baby, I would just be very careful. Because <laughs> this may be the weekend. Boundaries. What was going on with him? The star. Knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. I mean, this reeks of knowing your worth. This this really is a like... This is a coming of age kind of story here. There's a lesson learning here, like for sure. Queen of Wands. Yeah, and you know what? And I think that's kind of a moving away. That's kind of a moving away from the way that you're being as well. I'm particularly talking to a feminine here, right? If you're... Have you some level of entrapment or sex or something in some way like this is coming this is being closed out okay you're moving away from being in that energy if you were a fuck girl <laughs> you're changing your tune a little bit so perhaps for some of you if you've been in a shag buddy situation this could well be moving into a more committed relationship but not till there's been a bit of drama <laughs> um yeah Okay, and then again, again, after Sunday, like, there's this realisation after Sunday. I think some of you are in for a wild weekend. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> I am actually on Saturday, but... Yes, 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 yes. Okay, look, for some... Yeah. Oh, for some of you... Mm -hmm. So interesting that Knight of Wands is there with that. This is a week, you guys. This is quite extensive, isn't it? Okay. And I hate of ones again. Okay. Page of ones at the bottom. This is nasty. I just don't mean nasty like cruel. I just mean like it's quite juvenile in its um it's quite teenage in its um thing. It's like Shaz goes out with Steve, but Steve was out with that slag carry and then they snogged and do you know what I mean? It's that sort of like it's like a it's like a real like um and I'm not saying it's like a third party thing here, right? This is not like this is not like um, somebody having an affair or anything. This is this is a bit like going on a free day. This is a bit like going on a free day bender um, and having a massive fallout, um, and then something good coming out of it. <laughs> um, uh, in in terms of growth, like is is what I see. That's that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> so I'm gonna just so on that note, I'm just gonna do a little bit, bit of advice. I mean, I got you know, it's gonna get better towards the end of it. Whatever happens here. The outcome of this is gonna is gonna um it's not gonna break your heart. Um and it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna throw you off balance, even though it kinda looks like it. There's something there's definitely some relationship shenanigans going on in this. Um and I think for some of you there is there is there is an ending of a relationship here. Like, you know what I mean? You might sort of decide, right, okay, enough's enough for, you know. I feel like Tuesday, that could be Tuesday. Can you stop doing that, please? Thank you. So it's my dog. It's one of my dog's birthdays today. Yay. He's eight. He's an old man. He's 56. Shocking. Um, is there anything only, only else about that there? Knight of Cups, two of wands. I mean, you know, I feel like for some of you, there's that, you know, there might be, there might be this conversation with somebody, like something might fuck up and then somebody might want to get back and you go, nah, it's not for me. Or you might both realise that you really care about each other. It might be something that's casual and then you might go, oh, this is meant to be more. Or you could realise that you're in a karmic situation and actually you're all right. I've recognised the pattern now. I don't need it because there's some 
what's interesting is that earlier on, uh, uh, like earlier on here, there was a balanced conversation with somebody, with a partner, with a with a with a lover. Um, and here the conversation is sad. Um, so a decision, I think a decision is being made as well. Like, you know, there's definitely a change of boundaries here. Um, but there's also this energy of, of risk taking of, so I think for, I think for those, for some relationships, uh, it's, it's time to break free and for others, it's time to commit in a different level. I think for some of you to take that risk, there is definitely a risk over like there is like a um a feeling of like you know anticipation and trepidation um in moving something forward the same as there is for ending something as well and i think for some of you like i said you know if this is a three-day bender there is something to do some for some of you there is something to do with addictions here as well um I feel like there's big realizations though this week. Whatever happens, there's big realizations. But I do think for some of you, this is really positive. By the way, I don't think it's like a doom, a doom and gloom. It's, I mean, it's it's quite hardcore, but it's it's not doom and gloom. It's this. I mean, this the magician and the empress, the empress and the magician. I mean, woo, and the magician's already out there already. You know, there's a, there is there is the, the empress is out two three times. I mean, the boundaries thing's been up a few times. The, the world's been out twice, you know, there's, there's, there's this, there's a, a tower moment around emotions and around some sort of either lust or um, obsession or addiction around commitment that maybe takes the, you know, the reins. Sounds like a messy weekend though. Anyway, let's uh, see what is advice there is for you. Three of Wands. The Magician again. <laughs> oh, wow. The Queen of Wands, yeah. I mean, I, let yourself sign, people. Do what you've got to do. I think there's no... I don't think there's any um, Four of Pentacles stability and the Fall, yeah, I don't think there's any, I think you just got to ride this wave, okay, I just think you just go, shine, be fucking awesome, go out there, have a good time, do you know what I mean, and like, Six of Pentacles, yeah, have a good time, build your community, I think, you know, but focus on your own stability, whatever this situation is for you, focus on your own stability. So there you have it. That's what we've got. Um, thanks for watching. I am you. You are love. We are one. Amen and amen.